Okay, so my time has finally come to make a curtain to cover the ugly microwave. I have been attempting to make it for years. I'm blaming the children that it hasn't happened. But now that I told you the other day um, that I would like to make it, I, I feel under pressure now that I should make it and I am going to make it. So here we go. First off, I'm gonna head over to the microwave to measure how much fabric I need. Okay, so to get measuring, what I'm going to do is measure in inches. This is the terrible microwave corner. I'm going to measure in inches my space, um, but I'm going to add about five inches to that because I would like the fabric to gather. And then I'm going to measure the space down as well. So there's a little bit of uh, space in behind that trim, right down to where I want it to hang to. Um, and to that I'm going to add about another inch because that you'll see I need to turn up hems and things. Um, so there are my two measurements, so let's get sewing. Okay, so that's the measuring done. Now I need to cut out my fabric to those measurements. So the next part is to sew my seams to get rid of any frayed edges or these funny edges. So in order to do that, I'm going to fold down the seam uh, size that I want to sew and pin them down with these nice pearly pins. Or you could sew them down with a big tacking stitch. Or sometimes if I'm feeling a bit lazy or want to do it in a hurry, I will just quickly iron it down and hold it in place. So they are my seams all pinned down, so let's get sewing. Okay, so obviously I've pinned uh, the seam over on the wrong side of the fabric. There's the right side there. Let's get started sewing. So I'm going to place it on the machine and I have a little um, lever at the back of the machine that I can press the foot down and then turn the needle so that it goes down into the fabric and we're all set to go. Have fun! Okay, and just coming close to the corner, just slow down a little bit and just get the needle right into uh, the join of the fabric in the corner and press, keep it down and then press up the lever to pick up the foot and turn, twist the fabric so that you've turned the corner and then put the foot back down again. And then get going on the next part. And I find um, if you pull, once you get a bit of fabric coming through the back, if you pull on that, it creates a bit of tension, which is good to keep the fabric nice and straight. And also on my machine, I have guidelines as well um, to keep the fabric nice and straight, to keep the sewing line straight. And off we continue. Okay, and we're nearly there. Just coming to the end to get the last pin. And just right at the end, I like to reverse the stitching back a little bit. And we are done. So lift up the foot pedal again. And then I have this little cutter here at the side that I can cut the thread with, which is really handy. And I'll trim that down in a second. But there we have our fabric um, turned under. Okay, so there's one more bit to sew and that is the top of the curtain. Um, and in this case, I'm gonna turn the seam down a lot bigger than I did before. And I'm gonna sew the line quite close to the edge. And that is because I want to leave quite a big gap, like a big hole like that, if you can see it, because I would need to thread through a curtain wire. Okay, so let's get started on that. Okay, so that is the main sewing part done. All I need to do is um, trim up the threads that are just hanging loose. I'll do that all the way around. Um, but also, can you see the little hole that this 
has made at the top of the curtain and as I said I'm going to thread through my curtain wire. Now I picked this up in a hardware store, you can buy it by whatever length that you need, um, just thread it right through that and then you can trim it down to size yourself at home. It has a little bit of give in it as well so you need to trim it um, a little bit shorter than you actually need so that it pulls taut when you set it up and then just get it right through and don't forget that I cut the fabric a little bit longer than necessary than the width of my space because I want it to gather up already it's starting to look pretty um, but just at the end of this cable then I also bought these hooks and eyes um, and I'm going to screw you screw them into each end of your curtain wire and then that is one in and I'll do the other end when I go over to the microwave and actually measure it into the space so that I cut the right length of wire um, and then over there also in the wood or in the wall um, that I'm attaching it to, I'll screw the other hook um, so that it will hook on and stay up. That's how it's going to work. But for now, I'm pretty happy. I'm just going to give it a little press. Um, take the wire back out and give it a little press so the fabric is looking nice and neat. But I'm looking happy with my curtain. What do you think? Nice little gathered look. I'll show you a photo when it's up and in position. But for now, thank you so much for motivating me um, to get this curtain made. I cannot believe how quick and easy it was at the end. It took me five or six years to make it, but I'm there. If there's anything that you have on the long finger and um, that is on your mind always to make, let me know what it is, put a comment below, and maybe by telling me, it will put pressure on you or motivate you to get it made also. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear any of your comments if you liked um, my little microwave curtain, if it has inspired you to make and sew something for around the house, um, or particularly the kitchen to make a kitchen pretty, let me know in the comment box below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and also if you're watching me on YouTube don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a million for watching!